So, I was not expecting to make this video, but I think this is an urgent matter regarding the future of SRB2. So recently, it was brought to my attention that Sonic Team Jr. had silently merged a patch into the upcoming 2.2.11 that introduced a hash-based custom user agent for SRB2, essentially providing a mechanism for having verified builds of the game. Now, this confused me. Why would they do something like that with a community-driven, openly developed game? And more importantly, why would they need to do so without documenting it in the changelog or mentioning it anywhere that isn't in the git feed channel that I doubt the average user actively checks? The closest thing to an official statement were GitLab discussions mentioning an aid and master server administration. While this may only seem like a method of locking out certain executables from the master server, the part about aiding in master server administration reads to me like another power grab from New Sonic Team Jr. over the community. Because violently ousting the old guard wasn't enough, apparently. While they might say, you're just misunderstanding, and it's nothing to worry about, New Sonic Team Jr. doesn't seem to care what you think about their changes, and they're certainly not afraid of running damage control about such changes. Spread the word, because your SRB2 server may no longer be safe. See you around.